resolve. So many mummies in Fight Club. Yeah, Slosh, let's do it. Um. Ah. I feel like I should have brought a firearm. Whatevs. Whatevs. I'm gonna have to deal with a lot of mummies tonight. Um, Riffa Rafa, I'm gonna try to stream some more key matchups, not just my fights. Ah, oh, slosh. Get away from me, you slosher. Oh, that was crazy. Ah, please help me, Oprah. Clap back. The clap back won't save me. And man, are you alive? He's trying to join. Oh God, that's gonna hurt. Oh my gosh. Get this man away from me. You bunchuck strats. Get there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. GG. Okay. Okay. My first try. And man. And man. What does it all mean? Um, GG. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, I heard something in, man. Am I in? You're in. Oh, oh, thank goodness. You're in. Okay, I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm just okay. going to leave it sit. <laughs> okay. All right, and well, welcome, uh, everybody. This is N Man. He's going to be helping co commentate today. And right here, we got Resolve and Dendy. So let's get into it. All right. Ooh, I see, uh, Denny's using that Thunderbird. I usually don't see him play, uh, you know, default mode. And Resolve, of course, he's a legend. We've got him on here. Use yeah. Double Toaster. Double Toaster, smart against the heavy. Mm-hmm, of course. Oh, and a great grab there. Going with the pits open now, that's great. It's going to allow a little, a little bit more mobility, a lot more chances for Resolve, who is a more mobile character. Oh, and he gets grabbed up there. Strong mummy, 200 on the throw. Resolving a bit of danger here. Hey, yeah. He's getting all the right hit. Whoa! Oh! Triggers rush and jumps right into that roaster from Dendi. Yeah, taking one round. The trampoline actually worked for Dendi this time around. Going into round two. Indeed. Let's get behind Resolve. 
All sticking right. with double toaster here. Yeah, then you can keep the charge off those toasters, which is, you know, kind of hard already with the deflect shield. You can get some good damage into resolve. Dandy able to shock resolve a few times already in this match. Pretty surprising. And I heard someone say that Bird is now an unviable arm. Come on. No, everything's still viable in its own sense. All right. Ooh, put the pressure Whoa. on getting a good grab. Oh, a very good time. Good timing there on the grab. Ooh, get knocked right back down to the pit. Now both players with rush. Yeah, I'm actually seeing a little bit more brave use of this trampoline than I usually see in these kind of matches. Yeah, it's usually just a donut and they avoid it the whole time. Yeah, rushes are out though. Oh, 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 oh still training. Okay. 230 for resolve. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, boy. oh wow, getting one in there. Good toaster. Nice work from Resolve coming back there. Dendy's still making him sweat. Let's see if he can finish the job in this round three. All right, flipping back behind Dendy. Yeah, we got to get some of this, <laughs> get the focus on this kind of mummy action. Yeah, the clunky mummy using the roaster T-Bird. Is this the is this the viable use of mummy now? Is this the proper combo? Is this it? This is the, the, the uh, meta? Oh, I thought for sure that the uh, uh, tough skin would allow him to get that bird in there. Yeah, the that kind of made me think right there that it would be very useful to have a stun arm or a right, uh, shock air. arm rather. Resolve uses height to get his in rush in and takes that dendy. For the nice first win. Very good angle there from Resolve using the trampoline. <clears throat> oh wow. <laughs> Dendy, give yourself a pat on the back. That was a solid win you took off in round one. Yeah, for sure. Good job. All right, so we can all move on to round two together now. Everyone should be done there. I got to report my score. We're good. I'm going to tap my button real quick. Yeah, there we go. And then I am fighting... No. Oh, Riffa. Riffa, Riffa. let's do it. Rafa? He changed well, his name to Riffa because he lost the fight between Rafa and Rafa. <laughs> so he had to change his name to Riffa. So now we've got the Riff Rafa? Yep. Riff Rafa. Raff Rafa Lo. Oh boy. Hey, Resolve, what's going on? He's spazzing out. Help this man. <laughs> Help him. There's a, a doctor in the house. <laughs> there he goes. Okay. Um, yeah, so Riffa, get in here, man. Let's do this. Let's dance. Um, AM, you're asking for the rules. It's just a best of one with the map set that we're using. The map set's right here on that link. There he is. All right, Riffa, let's do this. Ooh, the golden goo boy, the floating head. Oh, against, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the rebranded Riffa. The, the goo boy. Best waifu, you know? <laughs> yeah, have fun, Riffa. Ooh, double tri-blast? Uh, he's, not, he's not going to use it. Yeah, called his bluff. Uh-oh, now I have clap back against the dragon. That's not good. Oh, boy. Oh, man, look at how fast his arm's moving. What? How am I supposed to dodge that? He's got that four times speed. Oh, is this an experience of lag? Oh, yeah. Wow, jeez. That's impossible. I'm a reactionary player as a Helix. I can't deal with that. Can a lag between matches be uh, derived by all the players in the room? I don't think so. I'm pretty okay. sure the the spectators don't have any effect on it. Anyways, uh, I mean, let's try Blast Go. Here you, you're able, uh, Scrimp's able to keep a, uh, dragging down a little bit with his clap back. Never uh, mind, it gets right through. Talk about it? some exactly. fast gameplay. Going into round two. Gonna see an arm switch, do a double bo no, no, boomerang, tri-blast, tri-blast, boomerang. 
Okay, we're there. Okay, uh, I can't. What is this? Try blast is already fast enough. It <laughs> looks like we're gonna have to deal with a little bit of lag, helping the helping the tri blast get a little bit more oomph under it. And that dragon is sweeping the ground using the low part. Yeah, this is bad. I... Tri blast uh, getting some sketchy explosion in there. That's pretty good though. Ooh, we get the rush in from Scrimps. 230 damage. Pretty good. Keeping him in the corner. The far grab does not connect from Scrimps. Now, Riffa is trying to put that pressure, getting closer to activate his own rush. Scrimps gets right out of there. And there's still some fight in the gold goo boy. <laughs> I right. just have to spam offense because I can't accurately dodge anything. I mean, it's working. <laughs> Don't stop. Oh, boy. But I see uh, Riffa's keeping his distance. I know that dragon arm, he's, I bet he's kind of scared of using him closer than he already is. Though, uh, under my experience, dragon works pretty well as a defensive option up close. Okay, Scrimps sliding along inside, going around the donut in the middle. Tries to like, put his rush in there, but it sort of goes wide. I'm not sure what the flip happened there. Okay, rush comes out. Wow, Scrimps is able to dodge that too. What's going on? All these people without him only get some Yeah, I don't blows. know what is happening out here. <laughs> A grab from Riffa managed to take Shrimps out for the final hit. GG Matrix Arms. <laughs> Matrix Arms. <laughs> See, he's got the red arm and the blue arm. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. It's all right, Riffa. You'd probably beat me on level ground anyway. Man, Red and Guard, Riffa, a uh, couple people dealing with some internet issues tonight. Okay. Um, I've, everybody from round two should have at least gotten into their match. Uh, solid play, by the way, Scrimps. Uh, you use that those two arms often? Yeah, um, I would say that clapback is my most commonly used arm, and then tri blast, and then boomerang. Boomerang kind of can get alternated out with like uh, seeky or something else. I see uh, more people using coolerang more often now as a bike. It, do you get the feeling that uh, boomerang is the lesser of the two boomerangs? No, I like boomerang more, especially for my purposes. Um, when I'm using it, I'm using Tri Blast Boomerang, so I need to create space so I can stand back up into tower mode. That's my main goal. Mm. Uh, there's something interesting that Riffa did in that last match where he uh, used the dragon. Uh, when he got into the lower section of Buster Beach, he used the dragon to sweep the ground of the higher section. And that's the thought that never even really crossed my mind, that you could control the altitude of the dragon if you go to the different leveled areas. Yeah, and that, that really affects me the same way with any other um, curve arm or any arm that buffs up in size or anything if you're down low I reactionary just always puddle underneath everything instead of blocking so if you have that low ground and you're able to sweep hit the top of my head while I'm in puddle form that really messes with my game yeah uh, you ever practice with gore I uh, I wouldn't say practice I've gotten beat up by gore <laughs> <laughs> If you ask him, he'll say it's easy to beat uh, Helixes. All you need to do is just wait for their landings or something like that, which I can see, honestly, but in practice, it's much more difficult to get the timing down of Helix. Yeah, definitely. And I think Dendi is a mummy, too. Oh, yeah. D uh, Dendi is a dedicated mummy. There was a time a while back while uh, when Lollipop just came out, he used uh, Lollipop in a couple matches against some TCM guys. I was there too. And he was absolutely destroying us. And we tried to tell him to go Lollipop as his main, but nah, he stayed true to he stayed true to Mummy. That's some dedication to a main right there. Yeah, it is. And it's hey, paying off. Laura, thank you for the host, Bay. I appreciate it. Yay. Hope you had fun on your stream stream. Um... Okay, Dendi's in. Let's do it. I think we've waited an adequate amount of time. Everybody from round two should almost be done. Ooh. Mummy versus Helix. Yeah, because uh, in my local scene, nobody plays a mummy, really. 
and a guy who plays Helix can't make it out often, so this is a matchup I rarely get to see. No. <laughs> Ooh, at a favorite stage of mine. Yeah, this is my best stage for sure. Oh, yeah? All right. Uh, toaster? No, just Toaster. Tribal has clapback. He's got Roaster. Uh, I don't know which, which fist I want to use yet. I think I'll go Blast for now. I'm already going to see a lot of use of that bird on Denny's part to take out of, the, out of Helix. Especially with clapback, he's definitely going to have to rely on it a little bit more. It's going in good. All right, Scrim's using good use of the pillars to try to get some damage into the sides. As a Helix can just sort of scoop around either which way. Good hits in. Explosion's coming in nice right on top of Dendi's head. Dendi ah. gets a good hit in from Roaster. Oh, I just ah. want you to shock yourself. <laughs> it would have been great somewhere. Definitely a clip worthy moment if it had happened. Oh, yeah. We'll have Rush. Is still using the pillars to try to get himself around. Ooh, clapback stops Dendi's rush. Oh. All right, back in the corner. This is kind of this is a pretty even game right now. Clapback is doing really well whenever Dendi tries to get close. Dendi is sort of forced to stay back. He's trying to bait uh -oh. Scrimps out using the bird. Gets a movement in, and it works to get a little bit of paralysis and a grab. Scrimps being on the Losing into this spectrum now. Bird comes in hot from the side. Uh, and there me. it lands again. GG, Dendi. Going into round two. Let's see how Scrimps uh, deals with this new information. How's he going to deal with the bird? Going to give him the bird. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uh, too obscene for this stream? Oh, no, no, no. You're good. <laughs> All right, Dendi already prepared with Rush. Scrimps not too far behind. Scrimps locked in the corner. Oh, no. Use the goo body to only evade for a second before getting slammed by that Rush. 355. Dendi keeping the pressure on. Oh, no. That's what Dendi wants to do. Clapback can't get out. Clapback's not even here. What? I'm sleeping on this. <laughs> All right. Get, uh, Scrimps getting a good grab. All those pillows are breaking. Scrimps is running out of things to hide behind. But using that slippery body of his, he's able to back away from those birds as they're coming in. I'll bet even a rush could end it now for Dendi. We'll see if that's true. It's the little arsenal's clean explosion. Takes Ooh. him out. 355 damage to Dendi, taking us to round three. I thought I was doomed there early. <laughs> yeah, you can never tell with arms when the comebacks are going to be coming. It's not too hard to tilt somebody. All right, we're going to see Scrimps and Dendi both stay with the same set of arms. Dendi must be very confident, no arm switch when dealing with the new information. Using that thick skin, he's just plowing through. He's just going to go through all that rain of fire that Scrimps was landing down on him. Even getting oh. the rush in past a bunch of damage. 330. Jeez. And now Dendi's sitting on a good advantage. With a grab follow-up, going up 200 extra damage. Uh oh, R.I.P. grab comes in after a well-placed Thunderbird giving Dendi the win. GG, Dendi. Dang. GG's. Dang, Some dang, dang. Ex exceptional mummy play. Yeah, that Thunderbird is what did me. And the super yeah. armor. The super armor was a killer. Yes, but like especially when he was getting you in the corner like that, there's no way for you to get a good charge up for any of your arms. Yeah, yeah usually yeah. I can go vertically up above somebody and poke them with the tribe bolt or the tri blast but i mean you were still doing that nothing. It wasn't <laughs> okay all right let me go to the main board here on strim stram congratulations just, dendy uh, that was some good mummy play yes dendy good job going 2-1 over to scrimpy pie and looks like we have few matches still finishing up in round three round four i will be facing rafa riffa rafa rafa ph ff -F, rafa not not riffa riffa rafa rafa <laughs> riffle raff rough rough riff raff street rat i don't buy that <laughs> 
Alrighty, righty, righty. Resolve and JM Canada, are you guys playing yet? JM Canada, good. He's won some tournaments here, hasn't he? Or has he placed high? Yeah, um, JM won the last Mega League Monday. Um, see if he can keep up that representation. Perfect. Okay, we're going to get JM and Resolve in here. I'm trying to anyway. Ooh, that's some high-level arms. Yeah, so uh, JM Canada won Mega League Monday 11. He won Mega League Monday 9, and he got second in Mega League Monday 10. So he's that's a been, lot of badges there. Yeah, he's uh, collecting trophy. some trophies. Hey, and we are going to get Resolve and JM Canada. What a treat. Resolve is ready to go. Uh, yeah, we're still gonna need that doctor. I think Resolve's fingers are gonna need him. Yeah. Hey, Resolve, JM, we're here. Well, let's do it. We are good. Stages are set. Fight. Fight. <laughs> They're not fighting. I thought we told them to fight. Doctor well, on Resolve. call? <laughs> hey, JM. <laughs> Hey, Swamp Chick! Thank you! Swamp Chick donating bits for her favorite player. Henry and I thank you. Check out those that slick badge on Jam, by the way. Ooh. That is very... It's a flashy cobra. The cobra foil. The sexy snake. How, how do I get foils? I don't have a min foil yet. Dang. Uh, you have to play a lot. <laughs> That's all I know. I got uh, the Helix one. <laughs> I've been doing that? Excuse me. JM, come on! He's uh, studying the MU. He's watching all the old streams for his thought before he fights his man. That's not gonna help. He's gonna deflect <laughs> you. He's alive. There he he's goes! He's gonna use deflect and he's gonna punch you in the head. <laughs> yes, Swamp Chick. I agree with arms. Sunburst. You are 100% wonderful. Okay, for as long as ARMS has been out, I still don't know everything about Kid Cobra. Because apparently he can do a slide under things that I don't know how to actually do when playing as him. Yeah, I just figured it was the same as the other normal Coming dash. Coming up strong, JM. Yeah, Resolve going Toaster Hydra here. Hydra, a common option against jumpy characters. I think the uh, Slamamander is going to give JM a bit of an edge because I... Because now Resolve's just going to have to deal with one curving arm, and he's got nothing really to meet it. Oh, and JM Damn. getting lots of shots in on Resolve here. Pressure is on. Yeah, Hydro, like, Resolve wants to sort of, like, <laughs> pinch with that Hydra, but uh, JM's kick kind of goes right past it. Especially for as grounded oh, as JM. Oh, and he gets him. Canada's going to take round one there. Quick round one for JM. Strong shot. Indeed. Now we have Resolve with his rush ready. JM's like, what you doing in my scrims tournament? Get out of here. <laughs> he is the three-time reigning champion. Oh, Resolve going to land all of those Hydras. Big damage. Resolve going with double Hydra? How's he going to stop any of JM stuff? Maybe he's planning on getting it around. <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. Yeah, Jam's work, doing good work with both these pillars. Just sneaking out whenever he needs to get that hit. Yeah, oh, Resolve yeah. able to Jam. land multiple shots. I oh. need to say this is going to come down to whoever gets uh, Rush first. Strong snake crab there. Okay, Resolve's got it. But Jam's going to get in a second. Get oh. the dodge. Gets out of the way. Resolve nah. cannot finish it before Rush, and he Jam. gets it. Jam lands. No. Resolve is alive. Resolve is okay. And oh. that's the hit right there. JM Canada with the shocker. That's Ladies such and a gentlemen, snake. this man is JM. a strong snake. What a hero for his community. Strong snake. Strong play by Resolve, though I'm a bit confused by his choice to go double Hydra. This is not a feeling that that was what was keeping him down in round one. 
There it goes. All right. Um, let's see. Let us see. Rafa. Rafa, it's you and me. P H F F. F F. Okay. So the P H doesn't both? exist anymore. P H is now Rafa. Oh, okay. So yeah. there's still only two of them. Riffa and Rafa. Yep, Riffa and Rafa. Okay, thank goodness. Yep. So that we were just making up a third one. Uh, Riff. Well, Riffa has his name as Riffa Rafa on <laughs> Twitch. So there's Rafa Riffa Rafa Riffa Rafa. That's just two people. <laughs> we can. Uh, can we make an official arms tongue twister? Yes, we from can. From the community. And there's That's the man great. himself. All right, everybody, you may begin your round fours. Let's fight, you son of a gun. Uh, who's the opponent? Riffa. Rafa. Oh, <laughs> no, it's Riffa. It's Rafa. <laughs> Taste. Let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. Know. We got you versus him. Let's go. Ooh, sparring ring. Get ready for an even matchup. Rafa has been reborn. Yes, I love sparring. Okay. Got Triblast. Toaster. Rafa going with Megaton Popper. No, wait, Scrib's using clapback. Always, baby. Unless I'm going against uh not always. <laughs> that tri blast doing some good pressure work, able to get those explosions in. Just tilting Rafa just a little bit whenever he tries to get too close. Clap back. Keeping those arms away and going right back at the competition. Alright, Rafa trying to get in, get himself around, but the clapback has proven a very complicated obstacle to him. Yeah, Rafa's kind of at a disadvantage here with this clapback. He's got no arms to go around it. Maybe I could see the, uh, another way to deal with clapback, using shield to get around it. <laughs> Though how fast clapback can go back in and out, it's kind of hard to do that strategy unless you're right in their face. In which case, you're in the uh, residency known as Grab Time. <laughs> okay, Scrimps. Taking his goo, bull, goo body. Slipping under. Gets hit by Popper. Popper does not care for any sort of altitude <laughs> based on Helix. All right. Scrimps goes under the grab and gets slapped by the Popper as soon as he ducks up his head. Getting slapped by everything now. Oh boy, we're on even. This mic Woo! comes out. <laughs> Let's go. Hey. That's right, curve grab, though. Hey, what's up, Jay Miller? How you doing, my man? Thanks for stopping right. in. Scrimps up round, uh, one round, and they both got to keep their rushes. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> crazy first couple seconds. Ooh, Rafa bringing out that scorpion. Always glad to see some of Misango's arms represented. Oh, get him, clap back. Yeah, oh, boy. going strong. 160 in Scrimp's favor. I'm surprised to see that that rush trade-off didn't end poorly for Scrimp's. Me too. <laughs> All right, Rafa. He's not going to sleep on that on that loss. He's going to try to get himself back up. Tri-Blast is proving so problematic, though. Ow. Oh, I see. Rafa has got that curving arm. That's probably going to help him get around Scrimps even better. Though, it Hang doesn't it. Keep... low enough to get Scrimps when he's booed up. Ah, uh, right. that poison's making me twitch. <laughs> Scrimps suffering from the new poison effect. Uh, I'm surprised Scrimps isn't going more shield. Usually, that's how I get people when they're poisoned. They always try to duck under it. Like, it, like a freeze. Oh boy, Scrimps gets in that other rush! Get it in, baby! No oh, damage to GG. Rappa. Hey, Jay, Scrimps. I'm doing really well, man. Scrimps representing his own stream. Get hype. Shrimp Squad, baby. Don't sleep on the Shrimp Squad. Clap, clap back number one. It's my number one in my heart. It the honestly the clapback uh, rush is a little bit OP. Ah uh, yeah, if, I mean if you're not like 50 feet away from it, it's probably gonna get a hit in because you can't pull up shield fast enough. Oh, no, it all has to do with spacing. Just playing the like, game normally when the when rush comes out, you always gotta be more a bit more careful. I believe clapback can be 
dealt with as long as people understand how this rush works. All right, so round four finishing up here. We got another shrimp squad member, Vertical, still playing. Um, in round five, I will need Jay in Canada. Lead. Oh, I gotta fight the champ. Yo, man, you gotta fight JM? Hey, you just beat a kid cobra. Easy, right? Easy. Easy peasy. Hey, I fought JM a couple times in that new Coliseum. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, How's that going? Not to brag, but I was able to keep JM down for both times he tried to challenge my gym. Not to he had brag? To go through... <laughs> Not to brag. He had to go through uh, uh, the, the other trainer to get to the gym leader. He took that gym, by the way. So, good on JM. Very I believe nice. he's Elite Four eligible. Oh. I'm gonna tap my button some more. Oh yeah, if you guys uh, wanna check out a cool um, Smash Brothers streamer, check out my boy Jay Miller, who was just in here. Great stuff. Which Smash? Um, he played Smash 4 today. I'm pretty sure he primarily plays Smash 4 on stream. Um, and he also plays ARMS. He was notorious for almost beating Yabuki back in the day. Oh, what's up, Jay Miller? Thanks for the follow, my man. Almost beating Yabuki? Yeah. What? Oh, it looks like he has two underscores under his name, not one. <laughs> hey, hey, JM. JM, let's do action. it. Um, cheese, no, I did not get to play Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon yet. Which is really disappointing. I usually play it on release day. Have you played uh, Sun and Moon? Yeah, yeah. I've beat every then, main Pokemon game. Then you've played Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if JM All right. is really going to use a clapback right now. He is. No, he's not. Okay. No, no. Double slap a manner? No. Double uh, roaster slam a manner. Roaster slam a manner. Alright. I'm not sure how uh, Slime Manners usually deal with uh, clapbacks. I'm sure clapback does not reflect them. Yeah, it's, kind of an it's really not a, not a good matchup for me. Oh. Right. Don't underestimate the ability of Helix uh, to dip and weave, though. Never. A lot of the same tricks to move that uh, Kid Cobra uses, except for the, you know, the dash. You can go under things. Is what I'm say. Gosh. All right, Grim's getting hit with full rush, 360 damage. Goodness. I'm getting oh, hit with getting every hit every curve I'm hitting. Wow, RIP. That was a uh, 39 second win. Good round to JM. All right, we're gonna might see a trade off from Scrimps. Looks like he's leaving Clap back behind in favor of a couple tri blasts. And we got JM going in with the old thing, Roaster. Oh, good grab from Shrimps. Good. 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 Alright, uh, Raph is gonna try to deal with that. It's pretty even right now. Gosh. Oh, the far Every Slamamander, Slamamander. To, the, to the second Slamamander. What is that? That just hit the back of my freaking legs. Okay. <laughs> no more Slamamanders. But going right to Rush. 375! Wow, so there is a benefit to holding off on using one of your arms for a rush. Alright, JM is able to see the rush coming in and gets away from it. Oh my god, Canada. Scrimps is on his last legs, getting that good grab in, saying, I'm not gonna go out with a show. Hey oh. <laughs> oh. Alright. Gets caught in the air. Scrimps is knocked out by a slam commander to the front of the face. No, I dodged the first one that hit he hit me with his wrist. That arm is so <laughs> broken. Just, man, it's got to hurt him too. Ouch. All right, anyway, good rounds by JM Canada. He's defending his position. Yeah, GG Canada, you whooped my ass. All right, let's go to the main desktop here. Where Scrimps was handed another loss. Not even close. Did I mark my score up here? Yeah. Right. Hey, Chad, how about that party crash? Am I right? <laughs> it's pretty good. I was actually having way more fun with it than I thought I would. Yeah. 
It's giving me an excuse to try out custom arms on different characters. There you and go. And even try different characters. Whatever forces it. Um, and I know Resolve may have dropped out. Let me see. What? He had an issue with his hand from training earlier. Hey, look, Jorpin is playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. Does Jorpin play ARMS? He played ARMS at one point. Oh yeah, he still plays. He's in the ARMS back room, so I speak with him pretty oh. often. Yeah, the problem is he still plays ARMS. Okay, Resolve left, so that's not an issue. We will just stream one of the matches from round 6 that is not mine. Okay. And this will be the only time in my life I'll be able to type in 2-0 scrimps over resolve. <laughs> so let's go with... Wow, scrimps, what a turnaround. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, ooh, let me see Formal Cat and Dendi. That would be awesome. Formal Cat? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, is that a Min Min going up against a mummy? Um, yes, it is indeed. Rest in peace, Dendy. <laughs> I don't know. Dendy, I, I have faith in you. You and I, we go way back. He's practiced a lot with me for the in the, the matchup. So I'm getting ready to see some good gameplay. Oh, there he is, former cat. Yay. Or cat. Now we just need Dendy. Dendy's around. There he is. Hey so timely. Oh, yeah. We're off. Let's do it. Great success. Uh, uh, bounce twice if you're ready for this. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Boing, boing. Ooh, Temple Grounds? We allowing this in a tournament? What's up, Shady? Yeah, uh, Temple Grounds is in the starter map set right now. All right, cool. Yeah. This is the first time I'm going to see it played in a tournament match. See how it affects this kind of gameplay. Oh yeah, it's going to be really interesting where we would initially think that Min Min has an advantage. How will the pillars come into play? These pillars are kind of, I think they're weak compared to all the other pillars yes, in the game. Yes, they're the weakest they take a in the games. game. They're pretty close though. <laughs> Dendi trying to get right up in Formal's face. That ram is just not going to let him go though. That ram knows how to take care of mummies like this. Yeah, and helixes. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> And pretty much anyone with limited movement. A good stun from Dendi there. Yeah, the, the massive amounts of damage that mummies can put out though is just gonna bring the matchup right back. Goodness, the Dendi put it right back pretty quick. Crocodile oh. Dendi, I love it, cheese. The roaster came in hard right on top of Cat and the and the Thunderbird. A lot of right arm hits for Dendi right here. And think, Dendi uh, is the biggest beneficiary of these poles so far. All right, uh, former cat's gonna try to use that rush to try to get the damage in. It wasn't enough to lock out the match, and Dendi still has his. Oh, oh and Dendi! It. Nice down from the sky, and blast him with the Thunderbird for the KO. Yeah, great. And now we're gonna see former cat make a switch to uh, Megawatt. We're gonna stick with Megawatt. Starting out nice here. Oh boy. Alright, Megawatt's starting to do a little bit of work. And I see Forma uh, for Cat's trading more of that. Oh! Lever. That's gonna help a lot. Dandy with and a nice confirm into the grab. Just like that, Dandy brings it right oh, back. Oh! Double Two grab! Dandy's the Oh! Grab. Mommy! Goodness. Dandy with the juggle! He has ascended. He has ascended from the mummy heavens. There he goes. Dendi doing work. Good show, Cat. Good show, Dendi. Woo. Guys are making dreams today. Oh my gosh. I actually got to see a mummy, uh, a mummy win that matchup. Yeah. Also, good, uh, good use of the stage. Yeah. Really nice. Hey, what's up, Gaddy Shack? How you doing? 
Hey, Gaddy Shack. I want my Gaddy Shack, Gaddy Shack, Gaddy Shack. <laughs> All right, here at the main desktop, where we just witnessed the brutal murder of a cat. Ow, don't make it that sad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that kind of imagery. I don't need that blood on my hands, you. man. Yeah. Come on. So I'm just going to fight mummies and cobras this whole tournament, I guess. All right, have fun. Practice the matchups. Yeah, I do need practice so against those two. We have a formal cat, a meow, and a cat fight. Yeah. And a black and cat. And a riffa and a rapa. And a riffa and a rapa and a rapa and a rapa. All right, so round seven, I will be fighting Saturn Bars. Ooh, Saturn Bars, talk about mummies. Saturn Bars is one of my earliest memories of throwing my controller and turning the game off. Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know you were one to do that shrimp, so I thought no, you were I'm a not. nice guy. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I didn't throw my controller. I would never do that to my beautiful and expensive pro controller. And expensive. Yeah. I have let my controller like drop because I slammed it too hard on a table and then it fell. Well, that's no so, fun. Yeah, that is no fun. And one time when I was at a place, uh, I was trying to play the Switch just sort of like in its by itself mode. I was using the kickstand and then it fell. And I was holding my Pro Controller and the Switch was falling. So I decided to sacrifice Pro Controller to catch Switch. Oh. And it was like a concrete floor, so. It was it was one or the other. My pro controller is fine though for right now. Oh, that's good. No no RIP scenario. No no. <laughs> I was like the like one time I dropped super hard. Okay. And I wasn't even mad. It was just he was human error. Okay, we're gonna get Saturn Bars and Maroon Walrus in here to do their fight first. No way. And Saturn then, Bars and Wallace. And then Saturn Bars will stay and fight me afterwards. Oh boy. Get ready for some mummy undead bringing back <laughs> the life to the street. Bring in the undead. Dendy is dandy. Crocodile Dundy. Crocodile Dendy? Crocodile Dendy. Cheese came up with that. It's beautiful. Uh, can I make a Dendy's Tendies like a thing? Because apparently I'm seeing a meme where someone promised Dendy some Tendies and he didn't get them. We need a picture of Dendy at Denny's. <laughs> wearing Denny denims. Dendies. <laughs> Denny Dendy's wearing some denim, getting some Tendies. Yep. Looking for Riffa, Rafa, and Rafa. <laughs> With their cats, meow, cat fight, and formal cat. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Has science gone too far? Fan fiction's gone too far. <laughs> All right. Oh boy! What the? Oh, Maroon Wallace does play. Does he does play bite and bark? I must be thinking of someone else. I'm thinking of Slosher. I'm thinking of Slosher who plays the mummy. Yeah, Slosh is a rank twenty mummy. Dang! I thought I was gonna get a mummy mirror. Oh well. All right, here we go. Saturn bars going mega ton and Phoenix. So yeah, Saturn Bars uh, plays the default Mummy. And I think uh, Mummy's defaults work very well for how Mummy's supposed to play. Megaton is able to... Uh, I see uh, Mummy as a very stationary character, and Megaton kind of, like, clears them, clears arms away, and fire, uh, Phoenix just gets right in right from the side. It's kind of perfect. Yeah, very balanced default set. All right. Dealing with Bite and Bark. This Bite and Bark's running Ram Ram and Roaster. That's a high damage combo. What's up, Junior? Welcome back, my friend. All right. Uh, Morris gets rushed there with that hit. Distance. Oh. What the? Whoa. Saturn triggers yeah. from afar and doesn't land. Yeah, it was very. It was a very close miss. Now Morris. Those Morris. fire hits are gonna come in. Wait, Has did Bark hit him for 120? And Walrus lands 335 on the rush and the definite advantage here. Yeah. Good. Oh man, but Santa Bars ain't going out of the fight. Santa Bars no like. Oh, what? and Bark oh, KO! Bark. Bark, you ruined it! Look him. Look at the Watson Santa Bars comeback! 
KO from the Pupperino. All right, I'm gonna see. I'm, I'll bet I'm gonna see Santa Barbara try to keep that dog down way more in this fight. <laughs> oh, and a nice grab here from Saturn 205. Oh, and Bark hits Saturn Bark's again. Those MVP. In. MVP. Put this dog on a leash. Put this dog on a leash. Somebody buy this dog a biscuit, would you? All right, Maroon Walrus keeping sidebars in the corner. It's not going to care, though, because he's just going to turtle in that shield, and he's going to get those good hits in, pressuring Maroon Walrus now into a corner. Damage coming in hard. Oh, nice dodge from Walrus. Money damage. And there it goes. Wow, expert. Yes. From Very nice from Saturn. Saturn, guys. Oh, we're going to see an arm switch, maybe. Maybe? Oh yeah, we got clapped back. That's gonna help keep that Megaton away. And uh, Ram will trade nicely with the Thunderbird. I think this is pretty even. Ah, Thunder Phoenix is still getting in. Don't call it the Thunderbird, I'm sorry. <laughs> the birdie in. bird. Saturn gonna block all the way through this. Right, Megaton knocked down by that shield. Clapback came out, but those hits came in from the side. Man. Walrus' size are very unprotected. I think he needs to play a little bit more aggressively to keep that bird out of his face. Yeah, it's tough dealing Ooh, with the any dance curve is coming out. Oh, oh, man, he's going to break takes an arm down, triggers rush. That's going to be big. Whoa, 395. 395, couldn't get the juggle for the KO, and Vark hits again. Walrus. on this magic protectable. I am looking for the Maroon Walrus comeback. It's coming. He's got to stay careful. Oh, Oh, Bark almost got another oh. hit in. Oh, that's so close! Okay, there it is. There goes. it is from Saturn. Hey. Good job, Saturn. End Man Jr. says props to End Man on this commentary. Hey, no problem. I do it because I like it. Yay, yay. All right, now Saturn Bars, you stay here. We about to, we about to battle. We about to boogie. Back to boogie with the woogie and the jibby and the jive? Oh, Saturn Bar's left. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, Wait, he was the one who's supposed to stay. Get back here, you crazy kid. Okay. Hey, Walrus, how's it going? Sent the message. Oh, hey, Fuchsia. Look. Who's Fuchsia? I have no idea. <laughs> you Did you invite him? I didn't invite him. I didn't invite him. I don't have a code up, so. <laughs> we run by the honor system around here. Hey, there he is. All right, let's see this matchup. Saturn Bars, can you deal with the default mummy scripts? Um, on DNA Lab, maybe. <laughs> oh, boy. That you was... got DNA Lab a good a fair amount of times. Yeah, Lucky you. an unfair amount of times, you might say. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you sure that's not all, you know, just chance scrims yeah, who are running I, the stream? I go to the map set, and it's just DNA Lab. <laughs> All right, try blast, clap back. We got it. All right, we saw uh, Santa Bars deal with a clap back last round, so you might have that experience on your scrims. I might have a better chance getting away from that Phoenix though, as Gooey Boy. Yeah. So oh, far, oh, no. Santa Bars is going for the toes though. He's not yeah, going he's for that head. Freaking chopping my legs off. All right. Oh, getting the good grab in. I've seen a lot of like all the good grab comments have been pushed. Ow! They just look so nice. Okay, uh, Simon Bars, keeping his distance right now, probably to uh, make sure that those uh, Phoenixes can slide right in uninterrupted by that crap. Shrimps press against the wall, not a lot of places to run from that Phoenix. Rush comes out for some reason. Simon Bars could have saved it. I cannot get away from this Phoenix uh, at hell, all. Yeah. Someone must have put some bird seed inside of Helix's body because those birds are coming right for it. Right, round two. No arm changes? Any arm changes? Yeah, you don't have to listen to me. If you want, if you're comfortable, you can just keep this in mind. Try blast. Toaster. Toaster's gonna look a little bit quicker. Ooh, oh my taking goodness. Taking under the Megaton, only to meet a bird. Stretching of Scrimps is the golden slinky. Still getting hit though. Those uh, tri-blasts are blowing up in his face. 
sending them all ascending. Sandbar is trying to wiggle left to right, trying to look for his way in. Uses the tough scan to get a rush in. Trips oh, greedy. Almost the whole rush. Ooh, gonna attack on 65. Those exploding arms going to 130. And the rush comes in clean. Scripps might be bringing this back. Sandbar is probably gonna have to look for another couple ways in. Using the bird to wade in slowly as he approaches just as slowly. Scripps hiding behind pillage or whatever, uh, whatever's left of them. He's sitting on the uh, on the health lead, but it's Sandbar is slowly catching up. And now any sort of hit from Sandbars could end Scripps, and there it goes. <sighs> Definite uh, experienced use of the Phoenix. I'd say. It's kind of interesting that they would put two of the bird weapons on like two polar opposite characters, Twintel, and then who can move around any which way she wants, and a mummy who can't really move at all. Really shows how versatile the weapon can be. What even are birds? Somebody tell me. Uh, basically dinosaurs. Fair enough. <laughs> that's why they're so that's why they're so fierce. That's why they'll kill you. As fast as they did just then. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's like top That's top five worst arm to see when you're Helix for sure. <laughs> it's like uh, which arms curve? There. That's that's the yeah. worst arms for Helix. Well, boomerangs are okay, but Manders, Birds, and Bolts are like, please keep those from me. Bolts. bolts. Didn't know you had trouble with bolts. Uh, not as much anymore. Tribolt used to be really bad. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I still say tribolt gives me a whole bunch of trouble, basically because I I don't know how to use it, and therefore I don't really know how to evade it. Alrighty. Round eight. I am fighting M. Walrus. Oh boy, get him back in here. Let's go. Get him in here. Looks like round seven should be done. So, Walrus, if you could please join me. And we'll oh, M. Man's going. joining the tournament. No, he's not. <laughs> New challenger approaches. Hey, I can warm up. Hey, yeah, there we go. I could be playing the game this whole time. Well, sorta. Yeah, it's nothing like, nothing like destroying a bunch of RNAs. Let's go. Hey, PK, what's up? Welcome back. Um, yeah, Gaddyshack, I don't really have trouble with hammers. I really enjoy playing with them, actually, because I can see them coming from so far. I have time to get in front of them and put my clap back up and still hit them back at them. Even though they hey, do kind of curve over the top of things. All right, Bite and Bark, let's see. What do I need to switch? I'm gonna take my toaster off for the boomerang. How many arms are you familiar with, Scrimps? <sighs> Most, I would say. I don't use Blorb or Glusher at all. I can't use them. Um, Join the club. Not really familiar with birds just because I despise them. Oh man, the Buster Beach was denied. Yeah, he said <laughs> no Buster Beach no for me. Yeah, oh we are. no, Buster Beach! Yeah, we are. He came back! Alright, we're on the uh, the Robo Buddies home turf. I've never understood the application of the hump right in the middle there. Like, the game tries to make me feel like you can do tricky things with it, but it just, it's just sort of annoying. It's really... The most useful thing it does is provide some sort of stoppage for a full-on offensive rushdown on this map. Because down in the lower corner, it's very offensive, and you can't physically get over there on this one because of the median. Scrimps is using uh, his clapback very well right now. He's starting the match off with the advantage. Keeping on his tower mode, keeping the uh, Maroon Walrus just where he wants him, which is far away. His tribals are going to be coming in fast and far. All right. M. Wallace. Now he's got Scrimps in the corner. If he can just wade in and keep him there, it might be a hard time for Scrimps. But, oh, Scrimps is going to use that rush. <coughs> Did uh, M. Wallace try to use this rush? Uh, so that was 
poor and unfortunate timing on his part. Crips might be take running away with this one. Perfect! Oh boy, am I gonna get to see it perfect? And Moalis is gonna fight back. He's not gonna give him that. He's gonna try to keep that away from him. Let's oh, go! Perfect! Perfect! Let's go! Perfect! GG, Walrus. I'm just hyped. This is my first fight club since, like, <laughs> the second one I ever did months ago. Wait, this is the third one? Or fourth? Uh, no, this is the fourth season. We've had, like, 20-some fight clubs now. Oh, jeez. I just don't have the time to participate in this. I mean, I had time today, but... Uh, I'm usually working. Yeah, I work a full 8 to 5 and then come home and stream almost every day. But we're gonna see some uh, good match coming in from here. It's a little bit more even, but Amoros might be falling to the same things no! he fell into last time. Oh! He's able to beat the rush out this time. Tacking on some uh, three, a little over 300 damage. Cole gets his own roaster reflected back in about 140 damage. Tacking on 80 with more of these reflected shots. With as wide as Tri Blast is, that's more of it that's gonna be knocked back if it hits that Tri Bar. I mean, that flip. That clap back. Oh, Bark, what you doing over there? Come on! <laughs> Unwalrus doesn't want to move until Bark gets back. Dog goes home. Alright, Unwalrus feels comfortable yeah, to he's approach. Home and he's dead. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, Bark. Oh, getting that sneaky roaster in past the clap back, going right around it. Using the, his ah! spell to sort of with his tri blast. Median stop the allowed. grab. Am Walrus is sneaking these in right now above clapback. Going in for rush. Nice. We might see this lock out. There it goes. GG Walrus. Am Walrus using the pressure, using the tri blast, using the rush for a triple whammy into a KO for Scrimps. <laughs> What's up, Laura Bay? For, against Scrimps. All right. Um, my gut's telling me to switch, but I won't. Uh, so Scrimps is going to forego his guts, and he's just going to stick with clap back and tri blast. Helix doesn't have any guts. <laughs> uh, at least it's, uh, he's got all the same guts. At least a uniform opinion. All right, Scrimps doing with this insane pressure with tri blast uh, with the jump shot, going with the tri blast to the jump. To what? The tri blast to the jump. Did I just land in his grab? Uh, probably. That was super it's strange. Happen. Oh, able to knock him down. Scrims has full rush. And oh, oh, my good bark. Good boy, Bark. Oh, that clapback is doing some good work, though. Oh, we get the double. What's going on? Oh, boy. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> okay, I love got it. Uh, some damage tacked on. Now that clapback is a menace to the Emeralds. Going 80. Going 50. Look at all this tacked on damage. I'm also gonna have to find a way to beat back his own explosive demons. Getting some in himself. 100 damage from Tri Blast. Shrimp's trying to wade in a little bit closer. Might be looking for an opportunity to get grab and down. No. M. Walrus trying to go above clap back and react with it whenever he can. But Shrimp's always has that Tri Blast rip. And it works for him. <laughs> Looks like Shrimp's guts were wrong all along. Good call, Shrimp's. <laughs> GG Walrus. Whew. See, M. Walrus has had it kind of rough on the uh, on the main stream page, so I'm sure he's gonna bring it back. He's gonna watch these streams, gonna study the matchup. Might even bring in some extra arms next time. What's up, Grief? Good to see you. Grief. 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 <laughs> Hashtag Dio. Oh, you're using Springman? Oh, RIP our relationship. <laughs> That's pretty much anyone who uses Springman. Ah, get out of here. I don't want to see you anymore. <laughs> Maroon Walrus said, GG Scrimps, that no kill dog. <laughs> hey, yeah, Scrimps, congratulations on getting a perfect on stream. Hey, that was pretty nifty. Yeah. All right, let's check out the bracket here. Oh, I'm... What's up, Vertical H? I'm facing three times if my, you're having a good day. Facing my teammate here, the shrimp squad, about to face off. Yeah, I'll do it for you. I'm having a good day. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, bring Thanksgiving break just started. Feeling good. Party crash is on. Hey, there he goes. Thanks, Vertical H. Great days all around. 
great days. Let the voice of love take you higher. Higher. All right, let's uh, go, Vert. Vert. I don't know. Exploring See, green. when oh, I'm boy. going Springman, I either go Guardian Seeky or Clapback Tri-Blast. Seeky's going to be nifty. What? I thought you were going to go Seeky. No, I said I I go either or. I didn't know what to put on because me and Vert have fought a bunch, so. Well, any explosive arm is going to put the hurt on that uh, spring on that sh uh, deflect. All right. Some uh, hits coming in from above, not really going to get them in. Good job working both of these. No one has the advantage now. They're playing a fierce neutral. Woo! This is going fast. What's going on? Ah! All right. Vertical H gets the first hit. What the heck happened there? That was, that was 90, 55, 50. Poor Vertical H sort of self-destructed. All right. Got some uh, explosive damage. Full explosive damage, 130 damage. I am now just realizing how much Tribal actually does. Oh, look at that clap back stopping that rush! Woo! Whoa! Oh, I couldn't get him up. Ah! Man, Scrimps is just playing a far game, gooing up whenever he needs to. And good Helix movement. Vertiglates is actually not using his deflect shield as often as I see other freaking spring men. The kind that I just can't ever get around. So, I think Fertilage is more focusing on the Ram Ram and trying to get around the, the clapback. Or he's just impeding his uh, Deflect Shield because he's scared of the damage added by uh, the explosion. Oh wow, Fertilage is very lucky that that Tri-Blast wasn't charged and the explosion didn't get him. Oh, wow. cornered hard. Fertilage is able to pull that win out from being under pretty much the entire round. Sheesh. Oh, Grief, you got Rocket League. Nice. What's up, Danny? What? <coughs> Welcome to the stream. All right, Scrims has full rush. This might, this will most probably give him an advantage if he's able to land it. But both, both Scrims arms are very hard to dodge when it comes to rushes. Right. Vertical, trying to keep his distance away from that. I thought for sure that his Chakram would come and stop that rush. Not gonna happen though. And we're gonna see a Vertical Age already dead, pretty much down to half health. Scrimp's playing like a monster. All right, so Scrimp's taking 90 to another 90-20. There goes perfect. Scrimp's still sitting on a good advantage. Vertical Age has the rush, though. Might bring it right back. Probably going to wade in. Nah, he's too scared of those uh, tri-blasts. Now he's going to wade in. Holding oh. shield and cheeky, cheeky. Good Use read. some of those shields to fade out a reaction. Oh, man, he is absolutely winning this rock, paper, scissors. Whew! What a fierce turn of events. Vertical H just needed one word. He was off. Scrimps is back in a position for him to do some damage. Scrimps might bring this right back. You know, he got Rush. What Scrimps needs is a little boy. Oh, oh, get oh, off of me, you stupid Chakram. Okay, Chakram eating a little... The Chakram slash Ram Ram still being too hard of an arm for Helixes to deal with. Vertical H tricks Hit my out. shoelaces. Ebbs and flows. GG Vert, you got so aggressive on me there at the end. Maybe it was intended, like uh, pretending to be a sucker, only to just completely turn the tables at the end and just stack on me so in. much damage. Suckered me into friendship and then stabbed me in the back. That's how it always turns out. So I gotta be me, gotta be, gotta be the loner, not part of a team. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the board here. I took another L. I'm still feeling pretty good so far about this fight club. Yay, yeah, some pretty good rounds so far. Pretty hype. Um, is anybody still in round nine? Have you, has anybody not begun their ninth round? Saturn bars, Red Guard, JM Canada. Hey, Red Guard still this? That's good. I thought Red and Guard's ending that was being too bad for him to play. Glad it sorted out. Um, looks like I, everybody should be underway. Yeah, I played Red and Guard like immediately before this, and like it's looking kind of rough for him. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's looking kind of rough for him. Oh, Red, it's me and you next. Oh, cool. We got to see some of that Max Brass on the stream. That Max Brass. 
Alright, I still have to fight Formal, AM, and Tutorupa. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I really... I love Formal. Oh, yeah, I love Formal Cat, too. Such a good cat. <laughs> All the FIA guys. Yeah. Pretty good. Fia, those are my boys. They're good people. I'm very lucky to have a Hanukkah Jamboree right, right, uh, run in my local scene. Oh, you're by Hanukkah? Huh? You're by Hanukkah Jamboree? Yeah, yeah, he runs our local scene. All, all the tournaments, yeah. that's how oh, him. I talk to Hanukkah all the time in Arms Backroom, so that's awesome. Oh, yeah, 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 that's that's where you're from, St. Louis, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number two PR, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> There's Red. All right, oh, Red. This coffee needs to leave me alone. <laughs> he got back on just to fight me. Yeah. All right, Red. All right, let's let's go, do Ray it. Byron. Let's hope your connection's you, better. Are you intimidated by all of the shrimp's coins? Hey, look, G plus, get out of here. You're not I got scheduled. so many coins. It's gonna be good for like half an arm getter. Yeah, Hess, you're a big local guy too, right? Yeah. At uh, Wednesday night fight. Wait, isn't that tonight? All right, gonna see some good arms. We got Red Guard going to his Chakram and his Nade. Do you like stuff? Oh yeah, we got some lag. This is not good. Ah, Cut the man some slack. He's got some. He's got a uh, brother who's watching YouTube. You can't. Yeah, you can't predict these things. Wow, Chakram. Uh. Not really being kind right now. Wow, faded out the grab. Grimms is gonna keep his gun off. Rengar keeping his distance at the end of the stage. Working on those deflect shields so he finds an opportune moment. Both are pretty even right now. Rush from either. No! Of and the rush comes from yeah! Rengar. Why are those hitboxes so fucked up? Oh boy. Okay, so the bird wasn't uh, too bad for a thing me to say. Ah no, this isn't a clean stream by any means. You're good. I just don't hear you curse. I know. Yeah. I don't curse very often. I'm just angry. Okay. Just let so me wallow it. in my marinade salt over here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna see Scrimps try to deal with that chakram a little bit more in the sequel round two. Oh, is that shield gonna break? Almost. I think Scrimps can use uh, the slightly broken arm to advantage if he manages to finish the job. That can happen. Ooh, got clap back, Red Guard. Red Guard's got his rush back. I think Scrim's gonna have to play a little bit more carefully. The mind games. The mind games always come out when those. Oh yeah! Yes. Scrim's able to call out the mind games. All right. Red Guard trying to put pressure on the Goo Boy. Take him in the corner. Helix is gonna get out of there though. Shrimps and putting on the pressure. All these explosive damage aren't knocking over Red Guard, but they're certainly adding on the pain. Now Shrimps is up a rush. It's gonna be up to him to see whether uh, to bet whether he can finish the fight out and keep it for the next round, or if he wants to use it now to finish things quick. He's gonna opt to finish things quick. Oh, there it goes. 340 damage, but now Red Guard himself is sitting so close to a rush that's gonna be hard for Scrims to deal with these mind games coming up. Look at how close that rush gauge is. Close enough. Call a heart attack, something. All right, Scrims going out real aggressive with that Tri Blast right now. Oh, but the Chakram's gonna cut in. And as Chakram's go, that stun at that close range gives him just enough time to put the grab in. But Scrims says, no, I'm gonna grab you next. Yes. Wow, clap back came in to save Scrims. When have we Pressure heard that before? Pressure back is mounting. Now they're both staring each other down from the opposite ends of the stage. They just literally cannot reach each other anymore. Someone's gonna have to move. All right, Red Guard moves a little bit closer to the center. Tech getting a little bit more damage tacked onto him. Ooh, good, good use of clapback. This Red Guard is hurting because of it. Get caught by the rush, and Shrimps is able to take it. Let's go. What a reversal, Shrimps. Having it beaten his own enemy, Chakram, to take out Rengard. Rengard putting up a heck of a fight, even when having to deal with his own internet issues.
Yeah. God bless this man. Red, I don't know, man. Either one of us would have been upset with the loss there because of the lag. Um, oh, hey, AM, I see your question in here. If somebody's not there, you just get to win. Hey, AM, get a free Q. Yeah, that's why I said this is the only time I'll mark 2-0 against Resolve in my life. <laughs> uh, we don't get to see the spring ditto for AM and Resolve then? Everyone's getting 2 O's. You get a 2 O. You get a 2 O. <laughs> okay. We were on this one. Scrimps versus Red. 2 1. Very nice. Uh, who's getting that Thanksgiving hype? Gonna get the turkey, gonna get the pumpkin pie. Thanksgiving some arms hype? On the side. Yes, get all the good eats and then. Um... This Saturday, I am streaming the UK versus France crew battle. Hey, I know a French player. His name is Gassovay. Gasso, he's playing. I'm always glad that he's on Team France and not Team TCM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gasso, he's a great artist too. Gasso. Okay, looks like that round is about done. So let's we'll move on to 11. It is right. Formal Cat and myself. Formal Cat? Oh boy. Oh boy. He's gonna show the world uh, all that he's worth. There is a Riffa Rafa matchup. We might have to watch <laughs> that. It was gonna happen. We might We might you know? have to. Yeah, alright. The Rafas, let's get you back in here. This is not yeah, come on. this is not a chance to redeem your name. Not yet. The, the original Rafa PH. <laughs> You can't get your name back yet. It'll be a it'll be a monthly thing where you can get your name back. <laughs> yeah, they'll just switch off every once in a while. <laughs> the riffle with the two Fs and the riffle with the PH. Riffa's got more PH. That makes him more acidic or basic. Who who knows chemistry? I gotta finish my pun. Oh God. No chemistry, please. It's been since high school. Not your best subject, man. Hey, there's a Rafa. Now we need a Rafa. Or a Rafa. <laughs> Let's talk about the chemistry between Rafa and Rifa. Oh. They both play Cobra. I tried to... <laughs> I tried to at the Rafas in Discord. <laughs> And I couldn't find Rafa because his name is Riffa. This is so confusing. Scrabs. We've been ah. making the joke all night. Ah. Nice sparring ring. Cool. Okay, they decided to ignore my uh, Kid Cobra fight and they decided to just play wonked up characters. Okay. Whoa. Is that a ch is that a ice dragon? Um, Dendy, DM me and in Discord, we'll figure out your match situation. Uh, yeah. He's he's going slam instead of ice dragon. Aw, uh, I love dragons. Oh, me too. I, need some I more hate playing them, but I love seeing them. And Rafa sure, going to Springman. I'll, I'll get you some dragon action. Oh, you got some dragon for me? Oh, yeah, I got a lot of dragon for you. <laughs> That's my gimmick. That sounded way dirtier. What's up, Y Josh? Yes. I got a lot of dragon for you. <laughs> I got the dragon for you right here. Wow, Rafa, uh, flip, Rippa. Rippa's going out of pressure here. Getting the fall out of those grabs. Good gosh. Good golly molly. Good golly molly. And Rippa trying to redeem himself has had to change his name because of this man right here. <laughs> man, that slam is just a threat. I can't, I'm seeing too much good work come out of him. I need to use more of this thing. It is so nasty if you can get the hitbox near the player, but kind of slow getting there. That's, that's my opinion on it. This is so tricky. You think it's not there, but then it just shows up yeah. like freaking... It can hit you from behind. Oh, Riffa. Able to end it with his rush. You can't handle the dragon. How you doing right. tonight, Y Josh? Rafa. Playing a default Springo? Yeah, looks like it. Maybe he's stuck in uh, party crash mode. <laughs> okay, so ooh, I thought we were gonna uh, see a couple more hits come out of that tribal. Really good movement there from Rippa. Ooh, 
bringing out the rush, that's gonna work pretty early in the game. Good time to get it out. Gonna have to bait that uh, Riffa's rush now. I think I'll be able to see, uh, Rafa's making a lot of good decisions here. Definitely. I think he definitely learned something last fight. He's keeping that at a distance. He's making sure that that slam of mana doesn't get in. It's definitely getting a lot less than last time. And he's using the most OP character in the game. Oh, yeah, true. But... <laughs> it's still a good game, but still. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just kind of poking fun at him. Barely punches through that grab attempt. Both players oh, have rush you here. Up is OP. You're just bad at it. <laughs> Okay, oh, both are sitting in a rush. Is Riffa, could Riffa just try? I think Riffa's in range to get that rush. Oh. Okay, oh, he did not. Both have that rush. This is going to be crazy to see here. I don't think Riffa, uh, that was probably the same rush the whole game. I don't think Riffa pulled it out once. Ooh, the ice dragon, it's here, it's here. Oh man, that's going to, that's going to do some good work. I assure you. Those dragons melt right through the tri blast weapons. Well, it would have been connected. You say you're bad against dragon shrimps. Well, I'm really impatient. So when somebody sits back and pokes or plays in turtle mode or something, it really frustrates me, and I want to just destroy their face. <laughs> True enough. Uh, uh, dragon will definitely do that. Uh, though it's very hard. Uh, sometimes for me to get in a hit with dragon because I have a feeling people begin to get used to it after a game or so. So I re you really have to start switching it up and using it as a shield, using it as an offensive weapon, or even using it to control the movement of the characters. It's very versatile. Don't have that rush. <laughs> we haven't seen it come out yet. This is it. Ah! Okay. Oh, you can use the stun to get that rush damage. Oh wow! It's gonna dust! The dragon works! I told you about dragon! I tried to tell you about that dragon! Oh, just doing some good work, taking care of tribal when it comes out. Good spacing, good movement. Dragon really worked for Riffa. Riffa. Ripping it up. And Riffa. Raffing it up like laughing, but I'm Scooby Doo. Yeah, Rafa has his Springman arms stuck. Oh, uh, very good. Uh, unexpected couple of... Uh, very unexpected Springman from Rafa. I guess he's got a pocket one. Alright, I am playing Formal Cat, then AM, then Tuto. Tutu Rupu. Formal Cat, if you would, please. Come fight your boy. Formal cat dressed for success. You best watch out when dealing with this man. If he comes there, when he shows up, I mean. Let's do it, formal. Formal cat usually has my number, and by usually I mean yeah. like I may have taken a round off formal cat at, at some point. Like 99% I mean, win ratio. Great min, -min. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still see occasionally. I never get to fight any of like this, uh, like the world renowned min mins. Like, uh, like I never, I never really find Ten Tan Man anymore in ranked. Oh, uh, Ten Tan is. Uh, no disrespect to anybody here, but Ten Tan is on another level. He's on the gore <laughs> and resolve level. All right, we're gonna see the good old Ram Ram on left. That's a good strategy oh, if I've ever seen one. He put the freaking dragon away. That's why I took clap back off. Uh, oh, is one cat running? No, he's got Sparky. Did he have dragon? Yeah. No, don't answer that. You're playing. Concentrate. All right. So, gonna see both of them playing a very distant game. I think they're just trying to test out the water, see how each one of them moves. I see Palm Cat trying to make a bet. And I guess this sort of works. Somehow, uh, scripts exploded and filled with ground. And now Formal Cat has to rush up. Does not even wait a little bit to start getting out. Now he's going to build on the next one. Scrimps is uh, on the way to getting his own back. I don't know. Uh, it's going to take a lot of a lot of good decisions in order him, for him to make that rush pay off and get this win. Uh, these decisions are coming though. Those boomerangs do some heck. 
just really like messing with how a min min is just disadvantaged without the charged arm. It's just so hard to hit. Even with the buffed arm size of min-min, if those arms aren't charged, it's going to be much harder to hit, and uh, Scripps is definitely taking advantage of that. Yeah, still getting the knockdown. What I say about good decisions? Scripps is making them. Uh... Uh, wow. Scripps gets hit with a second rush and still standing. This man just took two rushes. Now they're both at the complete opposite side of the stage. None of them really want to go forward. They're kind of scared. I can see Formal Cat is kind of... Uh, the, uh, weary or wary of that uh, brush. And he's going in with the rush! Uh, wait! Wait! Ah, wait! If he gets a grab in, right now! Oh. Oh. Grimps loses the, the timeout. Oh, formal. Very even, like all the right decisions, just not enough time. All right, we're going to see uh, Formal Cat go with the same strategy. Grimps is pondering his options, decides to go with the original. I, th I believe both opponents know how each other tick now. I think Scrimps is kind of confident now that he's able to get in those get in those arms based on the last performance. That comeback, that good comeback. Even taking two rushes and still standing. Now Pomacat's got that other rush in, and Scrimps is going to say, Hey, you think you got rushed? You trying to place it? I got a grab. How's that? Oh, what was that? With another grab. It didn't work. <laughs> Formal Cat's wise of those movements now. Oh, I thought the boomerang. Sure boomerang would come in and stick first. But no, Formal Cat is going to keep plowing through, building rush. Is this this man's strategy? Aggressive play until we got some got some rush. I never see that on him. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. I usually only see that on Helixes and Spring Man. Oh, but Scrimps is aiming for the toes of this Min Min, not letting him get that, getting that charge. And the Boomerang is still just doing its good work. Even the, it, ah, jeez! I don't even think Scrim is gonna need that rush. That tri blast is just poking too hard. This poor Min Min, and the boomerang comes in, Ooh. and Scrim is able to make Formal Cat use his rush. This is looking a lot better for Scrimps. We're gonna have to see Formal Cat try to adapt to this boomerang into this tri blast if he's gonna have, uh, can beat this out. What the heck is this trash strategy? Dragon on right, Ram on left. What kind of loser uses that? All right. But we're gonna see if that works. The form of Cat Dragon is gonna do some spacing, causing the strings to move over that way. The dragon doesn't, uh, the contact doesn't work against Dragon. It's not like it's gonna reflect the laser. I was trying so to counterfeit. Could it have been foretold? Could a good form of Cat have predicted the clapback coming out? That laser! Oh, I thought I'm sure it was gonna get the underside of Scrimps. Scrimps is able to get that rush in for a decent amount of damage. Oh wow, Scrimps the Goo Boy! Only taking 30 damage, evading nearly that entire rush. Alright, clap back. Doing some good work. Take care of that dragon. Got some good we got some grabs trying to space out and test Scrimps. Those lasers keep coming in fast. Formal Cat might be getting a little bit panicked having to deal with that clock back. Don't worry, Formal Cat. You're patient. You got this. Now I'm going to get you, Scrimps. I'm just talking about it. I'm sort of talking to myself. You traitor! Look what you've you. done! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a commentator curse. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's going to happen. Oh, wow! Even getting a little bit past clock back. Oh, man. That dragon just going to take a little bit out from under Scrimps. Oh man, Scrims has got rush, and it doesn't look like Formal Cat will be able to last a little bit longer. Oh, oh. And Only 70 damage off. Oh, you know, we tapped on a little bit at the end. It's getting so close. There it goes. 100 damage to the underbelly of Scrims, giving Formal Cat the win. GG, Formal. Gosh, I want to play you again right now. I can beat you. <laughs> oh. Forget the round robin. I we're going again. I thought you were going to go Sparky again, so I went clap back. If I would have. That was stupid. I should have played Boomerang uh, Tri-Blast. Ah, you're gonna predict it. Clapback is still really good up close. It's just, it's a shame that it can't reflect Dragon at all. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty darn useless against Dragon. Oh, and we have well, AM see, in here. I believe that's my next matchup. Dragon, uh, it, it goes completely straight. So whenever I have to fight people with Clapback and I'm using Dragon, Dragon will just mostly meet up with Clapback and not get around it. 
it's kind of hard to predict their jumps and their movements to get Dragon in at all. So they just kind of go even. All right, so AM is my second to last matchup. It would appear that everyone is on round 12. So cool, we're moving right along here. I gotta fight right along. AM da, 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 da. and Tutorupa, then we're done. Hey, Tutorupa. I know he's strong in this scene. What's up, G Plus? Yeah, very close games. That's that's definitely the closest I've fought Formal Cat in a long time. Um, <laughs> all right, tell you what though. Talking about some Scripps, how confident are you with the uh, Springman Helix matchup? Very. I just don't know whether to use Clapback or Guardian against AM. These are tough decisions. I'm going to keep bouncing over here. Oh, these tough decisions are made. I'm a very serious commentator. Uh, yeah, Vert, you and AM. You mean, like, your match, you and AM? Yes, you can do that. Uh, yeah, Josh, it is almost over. All right, I don't, uh, I'm so torn whether to go Seeky Guardian or try Blast Clap back. That's the thing about Fight Club, you only get one shot to go out there. Only one shot, which is kind of crazy. You're piling on the stress, Scrimps. You could run these a little longer. <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, actually compete for once. I've never like actually buckled down and said, all right, I'm going to be a rank 20 and get good at the game. I've always just kind of been around the games. All right, what you go with? Boomerang, Tri-Blast, Clapback. <laughs> so, I thought, with all the talk of Guardian... I, yeah, I decided on. to go with what I'm comfortable with for tonight. I haven't been using Guardian all day. All right. So, using more of these pillars, I'm pretty sure that the action is going to go fairly slow as long as these pillars are going out, just trying to test the waters. Maybe even get rid of the pillars. In STL, it is uh, customary for my opponent to just take out all the pillars first before <laughs> the fight starts. They don't even pay attention to me. They just try to get the freaking pillars. Okay. Oh, cheeky, cheeky tri blast coming in right on top of AM's head. That's not gonna. His deflect shield's not gonna stop that. Oh boy, but getting clipped with a bit of a roaster followed by tribals. And the rush comes out, and he's able to get caught with the Tri-Blast splash damage, 270 added on by Tri-Blast. Looking pretty good for Shrimps right now. I'm probably going to have to pick up Helix. I get killed by AI, but if this is the kind of work you can do with Helix against a Springman, I am interested. All right, AM trying to get around that clapback, but it's work is getting kind of oh, hard. Give me that Tri grab. Is, Tri is coming in. He's applying the pressure now. Oh, what? Never, <laughs> never mind what I said about that Helix match. <laughs> As soon as uh, AM starts putting on that pressure, he is feeling a lot more confident. Even adding in that rush to seal out the... No, he is not going to take that match just yet. Oh, and the good grab from Helix, from Scrimps. All right, so one hit for no. Oh, and go for Scrimps. No. By oh. Like if you cry every time. Follow if you cry every time. Subscribe if you cry every time. Okay, uh, right, we're gonna start with another, uh, another first blood from Scrimps. Scrimps even has the rush ready. I think, uh, Am is gonna be aware of that. He's gonna be more prone to grabs because of it. Okay. Yeah, Am is playing a very grounded AM. I'm not gonna, I bet I'm not even gonna see him jump even a little bit. Just opting to just use a deflect shield and just regular shield. Scrimps trying to get around. Trying to see what he can do against those uh, deflect shield options. Meeting up with Tribolt with his Tri Blast. Boomerang trying to come in from the side. Rush goes Rush goes astray, only gets a little bit of chip damage. And just trying to play far away. He knows that uh he knows how far Tribolt can go out before it starts coming back, and he's going to monopolize on it. Scripps tries to counterattack with his boomerang, but it gets it gets lost and decimated and incinerated in the midst of that rush. All right, Am prancing about, looking like a little ballerina, trying to make sure that his deflect shield keeps him safe from every angle. Gets walloped with a 130 from that tri blast. He's turtling, 
turtle and trying to weigh his options. How do you approach this massive amount of goo that is just spamming things like that? Oh my god. The shield is going to break her hand. He decides to just take the 60 instead of having his shield broken. Shrimps is ahead by damage. Not anymore. He's going to get grabbed. It's going to be coming down in these last seconds. Who's going to get this final hit? And it's going to be Shrimps. He's running away with it. Damage wins the match for Ooh. Shrimps. Going to round three against this insane AM pressure. AM's got the full rush ready. It's really going to help him out in the first moments of these fights to add on that, that, that just even more pressure. All right. Scrimps was not able to get behind the pillar in time and takes a decent 205 damage. Not much more than a mummy grab. But the amount of pressure and just the mind games going on just keeps him in that corner. Scrimps is going to get out of there, though, placing his own grab ahead on AM. Gets hit by the far, the far tribolt twice in a row. That is already 240 damage. That is too, too much. Scrimps is hurting. AM is just going with a, uh, just a, just a tribolt game. He's not even trying to hit with Toaster. Rush comes in. Not even the splash damage is able to catch AM in time. Every AM rush. is about to stick on his own rush. All right, Scrimps' own pressure work is about to break AM's shield. And uh, Scrimps has to go forward a little bit in order to get it. any of his hit. Going forward, though, was what ended him in the end, though. Scrimps fought very well, going very even with AM. AM wins it, though. GG, AM. GG AM, good show. Now go, now don't go play in Party Crash because I need Ribbon Girl to win. <laughs> Let's see here another L for the Scrimpy Boy, but I, I'm taking rounds every time I'm losing, so I, yeah, I'm in here. Definitely, you're making him work for it. All right, round thirteen, Scrimps versus Tutorupa and vertical hunger and am we're gonna fight as well so we can go ahead and do that one first oh we stream in the vertical and am yeah all right a am no don't leave the crowd is digging your commentating and man ah cool they want to get you and pineapple in here together <laughs> what to commentate yeah yeah we'd have fun oh yeah I, it's just a shame that i can't read the chat i tried to uh watch the stream but then i just started getting echoed the heck out of my ears my ears didn't like it so it looks like i'm gonna have to commentate forever without reading um, that chat rafa um friendlies off stream i don't know about tonight but yeah i'm definitely down to do that soon all right look at these two spring boys yeah going, uh am using that double toaster i think he likes a good boxing match when he fights his spring man mirrors and vertical out here with a homie hey uh, vertical trying to go with a more technical pick uh knows that uh what spring men don't like he's trying to monopolize on or capitalize on so yeah, I. He doesn't have the the Seeky oh. is much more effective than the homie for stopping Springman with its two explosions, or with its shock and then its explosion. Uh, but homie gets a whole lot more damage off Rush. This is so true. So that's a look forward to. But if you're not gonna hit him. <laughs> Be it merciless in this oh corner. my gosh, AM. AM's going bananas. Stop, <laughs> Stop bullying, AM. AM. <laughs> Let this man breathe. Hey, there you go. Vertical Age. Okay. Hey, I'm you let him breathe. I'm gonna say that's not bullying then. Oh, both have a rush. <laughs> I don't even think homie damage is gonna bring that back for vertical. AM gets through, AM. saves that charged up rush. Yikes. Pressure was too much. Scrimps, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to talk to your man vertical after this. He's gonna fight. He might need some consoling. Yeah, me and him both. We're just gonna you know what, we're gonna hold, go hold a team practice after this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, emergency meeting, uh, subject AM. <laughs> AM applying the corner pressure again and landing Goodness. on Vert. How does Vertical keep ending up in the corner? May oh, ah. it's a small stage. <laughs> <laughs> Vertical 
Michael, I believe in you. AM is being wow. relentless. Wow, AM all over him. Okay, okay, we got Chakra. We got there you go, yeah, with a couple toaster. mind reads right, toast, right there. Toast AM. Making him into toast here. Uh oh. Straight jab. Man. Vert's got I think yeah, Vertical could really work with a little bit more left to right movement. He's really get, he's really eating. Oh yeah, he's so he's eating a lot of punches. He's got oh, a strong jaw though. Let's go. Come on, Vert. Okay, okay, okay. It's just one hit. AM he's has that it. rush. Oh, he got him. Too much to handle. Was, yeah, that was a that was a hype round two. AM takes it though for having some of the most insane pressure I've seen tonight. AM, please. AM doing work. All right. Uh, and that's you and Tutorupa, right? Yes, me and Tutorupa, and then that is it. All right. All right, Tutorupa, you heard. You gotta get in here. You gonna show us a good last game. Uh, I, I hope to see a lot of good boy borgs. Well, uh, I'm gonna rescind that statement because I keep forgetting that the person who is going to fight against Bark is right here in chat. <laughs> it's fine. No, Tutorupa is amazing. He's, uh, what, 170 something on the leaderboard? Oof. I was on there once. Okay. And then I started playing Masango, and then there goes my rank. <laughs> oh, adios. Though, I'm getting better at Masango. I love Masango right now. His defaults are kind of eh for the scene I'm in, but I can make them work. Yeah. And I will make them work. Whoa, Tudorupa uses Joy-Cons? He punches? What a legend. All right. Here we go. All right, Tudorupa using the Tribal and Kablammer. Wow, I've never really noticed how small the arms are on Bite and Bark. <laughs> Compared to Max Brass, that hammer is a whip. But it's not the size that matters, it's how you use it. Uh, perfectly SFW uh, <laughs> when I talk about that. Wow, Triplos got out of there. Scrimps tried to predict the movement off Tudorupa, but Tudorupa, like the true tur of the turtle, he is gonna turtle in his shield. Man, each arm coming right, right up to the other. Tribal is going to rain some fiery punches down on the shrimps. The last heel turn getting a little bit of damage at the end of that rush, leading into even more damage from Tribal. Scrimps gonna have to learn how to deal with this Tribal quick. <laughs> What's going on? Got a couple turtles here. Oh boy! Ah oh man, Tudor is always just too high for that clapback to get out, get in, start reflecting. Oh no, the hammer came down. Hammer Got time. Overruled. Going for 130 up at Tribal. Man, the Scrims has got to dodge his dog too. How is? It? All right, Tudor got rush. Scrims don't got rush. Take your bets now. Ooh, but uh, Tudorupa might not use his rush in time because he feels he could save him for the next round. That could be just as bad a mentality. All right. Tudorupa is not going to be able to lock the round in with a rush, but uh, he's now lost it for round two as well. Scrims might be losing the damage here, but he's going to have a but much I'm easier taking time Park to out with me. out of the way. <laughs> he's mine now. I got your Mike, boy. You do? Come get your dog, Tudorupa. And I will not give him treats. I'll feed him though. I'll feed him clapbacks. Okay, Hammer comes in for for first blood off Scrimps. And man, these tribal the tribals are just gonna rain in. Scrimps has to deal with like that hump in the middle of the stage and Tudor can just sort of stand there and punch Scrimps go from left to right. Tudor but now in the lower part, the corner part, Scrimps is following. Boomerang is not quite able to get in. Tudorupa is making too many uses of his shield for that to even happen. Oh, whoa, I thought for sure uh, Tudorupa was going to drop him, but get 305 on Scrimps. Tudorupa on a massive lead. Scrimps might need to hang out a bit and try to see if he can catch him with that with more boomerang hits before trying to wade in. Now that he's down, I can see Scrimps trying to wade in. Pressure is going to be hard to keep. 
against that tribal. Using brush what down even and is this what world? Hammer got in mid air before it really landed. And like, that was just pure grabbing. That wasn't an intended strike. When Pike lost control of the hammer, it just landed on Helix's head. Dead. R.I.P. But at least Scrimps has the most coins. So, yeah, I win the lobby! Uh, no one can hold a candle. Adrian Ninja, hey, yeah, get start a new trend, get default back. December, banned. We don't do defaults around here. What? Hey, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. You forget I me quit. ever commentating again. <laughs> Defaults, shmee faults. Uh, I'll defaults. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go to the score here and see what we have. All right, who came on top? Oh, Rengard Resolve. Neither of you. What? I thought Resolve was fun. They both left. Oh, <laughs> uh, they both All right, left. And the tourney. Oof. Let's look here. All right. I'm going to do the drum roll. And our winner, AM Frequency, who went 11 and 2, um, as did Vertical Hunger, but AM won the matchup. So oh, it is man, his victory. Monster. Well fought. Vert, way to represent the Shrimp Squad, getting that strong second place. And then we have Rafa, followed by Riffa, in third and fourth place. All right, good show, everybody. Great stream. Hype matches over yes. on this end. And, and man, the people and myself thoroughly enjoyed your announcing, so we'd love to have you back. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Uh, I'm super glad that you could have me. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I, it's just as much watching arms as it is to play. Maybe even more fun sometimes. Yeah, yeah sometimes it is, honestly, a little bit more fun to announce, because then you don't have to worry about the pressure of playing and getting your head stomped in by Resolve all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> All right. Um, you want to run a few, Enman? Run a few? Oh yeah, definitely. You can't get, you can't block this 